Here's how to get older without getting better. Keep relearning the same lesson. If you keep making the same mistake over and over, the mistake isn't the problem. You are. So I define learning by same condition, new behavior. And so when you go to a video game and you battle through the level and you battle the boss, if you keep doing the same thing to the boss and you keep losing, then you have not learned because you have the same condition and the same behavior. And so I often say that like for anyone who's listening to this podcast, if the goal is to get better and you're like, man, I really want to learn something from this podcast. If you listen to this podcast and then you're in the same exact conditions as you were before, and then you do not change your behavior, you learned nothing. And so using that definition has at least allowed me to change my behavior faster, which then goes into rate of learning, which I define as intelligence. And so a lot of people are like, man, he's so smart, but he just doesn't. It's like, well, then if he doesn't change his behavior and he's in the same conditions, he's a dummy. He's not that smart. And so if you are trying to battle the same boss over and over again, and you don't change what you're doing and the boss keeps beating you, then it's not the game's problem. It's your problem. You are the problem. And I think that's, um, like if you, if you continue, I, I talked about, obviously I'm I talk to a lot of entrepreneurs, but I usually do this when I have a, a crowd. I say like, hey, raise your hand if you work all the hours today. And a lot, you know, most of the crowd raise their hand. I say, okay, who here has been stuck at the same revenue level for six months or more? And then I say, keep the hands up. And like, honestly, most of the time, the same hands are raised. I say, you're doing the wrong shit. Like if you put all your inputs and the outputs haven't changed, then you have the same condition and the same behavior. And so you have learned nothing. And so that has always just been my reframe. And so over time, if, if you're moving up in entrepreneurship, you're moving up in career, your behavior should change because it means you've learned. Exposure to information isn't learning. <laughs> Great TLR. <laughs> yes. It's true. Yeah. It's true. And it's the same with memory. It's literally the way that memory works. The best way to work out how the human memory system works is repeated recall, not repeated exposure, right? You have to drag it out of memory and use it, not just see it a million times. Mm. And this is kind of the same thing with the lesson. It's, you can listen to any of the podcasts that exist on the internet, or the ones that we've done, or the ones that you love, or whatever. And if you don't apply anything, it, it's a waste of time. And this is the best solution for this is Tim Ferriss's The Good Shit Sticks. Look, what's the thing from the podcast or the book or the audio book or the, the whatever that you read or listened to that you can't stop thinking about? That you go to bed and you think about it, that you took a screenshot or a screen recording and sent it in the group chat, that you like texted your mum about it at three in the morning. Oh, this really explains the way that I felt in school or the way that I felt when such and such broke up with me or whatever. That's the thing. That's the thing to focus on. But. A lot of the time, the, the problem with mental masturbation is that the amount of information you can intake versus the amount of change that you can deploy yeah. is asymmetric. Yeah, when I was getting started on my um, entrepreneurial journey, and I would say it's like pre-up, this I was when I was an entrepreneur, right? like I hadn't quit my job yet. I started reading all these self-help books. And I remember reading like, it was probably like my 10th book in a row. And I realized that the words in that book contradicted like the second self-help book that I, you know, one was like, it's all about goals. The other one's like, it's all about taking, you know, steps or whatever it was. Right. And I, and I, all of a sudden I was like, you know, my life is the same. <laughs> I've read all these books, but my, I, I still literally live in the exact same condo in Baltimore doing the same job. Like nothing has changed. And so I just made the commitment that whatever the next book that I was going to read, I would just not read another book until I'd done everything in that book. Um, and I, that's when I quit my job and I did a whole bunch of other things. And um, I've actually more or less stuck with that in terms of like when I read books or even listen to podcasts, I usually do it with an intention to get something out of it. And um, I usually have notes up. And so that's, so my intake on information, cause I, because I'll, I get asked a lot, I'm sure you do. Like I actually don't read that much. Um, I definitely don't read nonfiction. I read like fantasy. <laughs> Red Rising Baby. That's right. Um, but it's because usually I get overwhelmed with the amount of things I would have to do. And so I'm like, I don't need more information. I'm good. Like, I'm good. Like I could read a chapter and be like, all right, that's it. I like, it'll take me two weeks to do this. And so then like the rest of the time is doing that. And so how do you ensure that the things that you're reading are giving you good advice? Because if you didn't move on before you took two weeks to go and do the thing, mm -hmm. but the thing was dog shit, you've spent two weeks going backward. So I would probably, 
I would make the argument that I wouldn't have gone backwards because I would have gained the experience. And so I would have more context to know what the second thing was going to be. And that's just kind of like the trial by fire, learning through iteration. And I think I, I tend to do more of that. Um, sort of a win or learn philosophy. Yeah. And I, I would say that like there, there are entrepreneurs who are definitely like super, super duper planners. And there are entrepreneurs who are more like, let's just move and break shit and we'll figure it out. I tend to be really this on the micro in terms of like move shit and break, you know, like we'll figure it out as we go. And I just tend to be a planner only in the big, like very grand, like what do I really want to do in 10 years? But the majority of the time it's like, let's see. And we'll, we'll, we'll learn. I've learned so much, like so much of the content that I have comes from just yeah. <laughs> in business. And people are like, this is such original content. I was like, this is just because that's what my life was. I just like, I made this mistake and it didn't work. But I said this one thing one time and then all these people bought and I was like, ooh, how do I do that again? And so like, it was always through iteration. And I, I, I've read all these books, but there's simply knowing how, uh, or sorry, knowing that and knowing how. Like knowing that, maybe this works, maybe. But once you do it, it's a different type of learning where, at least for me, it's about been that way. You could read you could read a hundred books on sales, but when you take your first cold call, all of that goes out the window because yeah. you actually have to you actually have to sell. <laughs>